Hi everyone, I'm Joe Garth, and this is going to be a quick tutorial on the Brushify Smart Brush system. This one is going to be a slightly more advanced tutorial. We're going to be going over scaling the landscape, changing the landscape resolution, and we're also going to be looking at how we can fix issues with Smart Brush alignments in case you have any issues like that. As usual, if you have any Brushify related issues or you have any questions, you can contact us on our email, which is support at brushify.io. All right, let's dive in. So to begin with, I'm just gonna start by making a new landscape. Uh, and I'm actually gonna set this to, let's set it to some of the defaults. The only thing I'm gonna change is this to 255 quads to make it a 2K landscape. Uh, and I've also put the MI landscape material in there so that it's gonna use the Brushify auto material. And once those parameters are in, just hit create. And in order to give it texture, uh, same as usual, just go to landscape, go to paint and choose the grass layer or any of these layers actually, and choose uh, layer info. And that will fill the landscape with grass. Uh, and just be sure, I'll just also hit fill layer. So now we've got a completely blank landscape that's filled with grass. Uh, we're going to add some brushes to this landscape. Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to need to make sure I enable um, edit layers on the landscape itself. So just click the landscape and make sure you have um, enable edit layers um, ticked inside of here. Yeah, here it is. It's kind of hidden away there. Enable edit layers, make sure you tick that on. And obviously, make sure you have the landmass plugin uh, enabled in the plugins uh, folder. So, uh, sorry, the plugins uh, panel. So, yeah, just type landmass in plugins and make sure that's ticked. And yeah, that should be everything you need. So, now we've got a completely blank uh, landscape here. Uh, I'm going to go to the landscape panel again and I'm going to add a new blueprint brush. So, just go on sculpt and then click blueprint. And I'm going to add, uh, let's just try the arctic brush i'm just going to click uh, yeah just click the arctic brush and then click anywhere here and now you'll be able to see that you've got the arctic brush, uh, brush applied to the landscape and you can move up and down so this is basically the obviously the step-by-step -step easy way you've now got a 2k landscape you've got the brushes working now we're going to start looking at how we can do uh, do modifications to the landscape such as for instance scaling the landscape uh, so in order to scale the landscape, this is something you might want to do um, if you've got a game that requires a larger area, but you don't necessarily want to increase the landscape resolution. So the conventional way you would do that is you go to the landscape and you click the landscape itself, and then you obviously just go there and scale it up. So 200. Now, what you'll notice as we've scaled this landscape is that the actual brushes themselves have actually stopped being aligned uh, to the um, the landscape itself. So you've got this sort of weird offset. Now that offset's there for two reasons. One, it's because the center of the landscape, or actually like zero, zero, if we just take the brush for instance and zero it out, that's actually the middle of the landscape um, according to the landmass system. That's actually the center of the landscape. And because we've scaled this landscape up, we've now got this kind of offset. So what we need to do is we need to actually bring back the landscape like this so that that 0, 0, 0 coordinate is the center of the landscape. Now we're not going to do that manually. We're going to use uh, maths. And really, we're just going to take this value right here. Uh, if we're going to do this precisely, we can actually use a calculator. Um, but we can take this value here that's minus uh, 1 million, I think. And we're going to double that, so times it by 2. And this is the new value. So we're going to take that new offset value. Um, because, we, because we've scaled it up twice, uh, it's times two. If you were to scale it up four times, then it would be times four and times eight, so on, whatever you decide to scale by. So because that's times two, we just take that new value that's doubled and we put that in. And the same here. Uh, we might have to type this in manually, actually, because um, I think there's some formatting going on. So it's just 204, there we go, 204, 204. And now we've got that brush in the center of the landscape again, um, which is exactly where we want it to be. Now you'll notice there's another problem here, which is that 
there's still this kind of strange offset going on. And that's because there's actually a sort of scale that's happening on that brush. Uh, in order to fix that, uh, we can click on the brush itself and we can go to this landscape, uh, we can go to the actual uh, Brushify advanced settings. And there's a parameter here called landscape scale. So we're going to type in the amount we've scaled our landscape by, which is two. And now you can see that the brush is now following uh, the landscape and we don't have that weird uh, sort of offset again. Now everything is correctly aligned to the brushes. So that's how you fix that issue if you've decided to scale your landscape. Uh, and yeah, I hope that guy, that helps out some of the some of the people that are asking questions about how you can fix those kind of offset issues and sort of brush alignment issues uh, in regards to scaling. Now, the other thing that you might want to do is actually change the landscape resolution after the fact, and that's also possible. Uh, so in order to do that, just go to landscape mode again. Uh, and then this time, instead of sculpt, we're going to click on manage. And we're going to click on uh, this little panel here, resize. And from there, we're actually able to alter, uh, for instance, something like the sections of components, uh, sections per component. We can change that to two. So we could make a 2K landscape into a 4K landscape, for instance. Or we could even reduce the size of a landscape. So we could make our 2K landscape into a, a 1K landscape. Um, so for instance, let's see if we're going to, let's see what would happen if we change from a 2K to a 4K. And that's just a case of increasing these values. And then we're just going to hit apply. And once that change has been made, uh, we'll now have a 4K landscape. I'll take a bit of time for things to sort of reinitialize. I've just got to give it a second. It's got to rebuild some things. Um, and yeah, now we'll be able to see that although we've changed the actual landscape resolution, we've got some issues. For instance, uh, our actual brushes have now disappeared. So as we move the brush, you can see there's there's really nothing happening and all the brushes have sort of disappeared. Uh, so we don't want that. So in order to fix that, uh, simply go to your outliner and choose Landmass Brush Manager. And then inside there, you can see that we've got this thing called Render Target, and it's been set to the old uh, resolution of the landscape. And really, that's the problem. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to change this parameter called Landscape RT Res, and we're going to alter that to the new resolution, which is now 4K. And then we're going to move the brush around. And yeah, as you can see now, the brush is, has reappeared. So really just updating that setting, uh, the RT resolution, render target resolution, uh, in the Landmass Brush Manager uh, will fix any issues you have once you've, you know, re, uh, sorry, once you've updated the landscape resolution. Um, and yeah, that's really how you can fix uh, sort of brush alignments, uh, you know, when once you've actually changed the landscape resolution or, you know, scaled your landscape in some way. Um, the only limitation to this is that you always have to have um, the landscape needs to always have the center at zero, zero, zero. That is incredibly important for the system to work. It is a limitation of the system, unfortunately. Uh, so you need to make sure you've got um, that zero, zero, zero origin right at the middle of the landscape. Uh, and just to show you that that's still the case, even once we've, we've done that scaling, we can zero out this brush and that'll just show us, you know, where the exact middle of the, the landscape is. That pretty much covers it for this tutorial. If you have any questions about Brushify or any technical related questions about the products, be sure to contact us at our customer support, which is support at brushify.io. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Cheers.